I'm a professional Photoshop artist and in this video I'll show you an idea how to improve your pictures for your Instagram. But first, but first we need the picture. And for that, I'm gonna take my camera, we're gonna go outside and snap a little photo. It's raining a little bit. We just need a little picture. Well, like I said, it was raining, so I had to use my phone. Excuse me for the quality of the picture. What I'm going to do now is uh, just select me using a pencil. Just try to be very accurate with your selection. Okay, so once you're done with the selection, right click on it, click make selection, new selection, don't change anything and click OK. And we have our selection. Now to separate me from the background, I'll click on this mask icon. Now I'm gonna duplicate the layer, delete the mask from it. Now I have two layers of myself and of the background. It's just gonna make everything easier uh, along the way. So the main thing that adds atmosphere for the picture is fog steam smoke whatever now at first making smoke and stuff is very difficult but once you can look at your picture in in third dimension you can kind of guess how much smoke and fog supposed to be in the picture and where to make smoke i'm just gonna use soft round brush uh on the blank layer if you don't have tablet and you're using your mouth you can just you're using your mouth. So if you don't have tablet and you're using your mouse, obviously you can't have a uh, pen pressure on the mouse. So in that case, just decrease the flow uh, around 20, 10, doesn't really matter. Just play around with it. And you can decrease the opacity just a little bit. Let's see where the smoke's supposed to be in this picture. So it goes uphill. This is the furthest point on the picture. We'll have the most smoke here i'm going to select that we don't have to select ourselves because we have it on a separate layer we can now do something like this for the for the leaves we can fix it later on so it doesn't really matter how accurate it is we're gonna have most amount of smoke here so i'm just gonna tap the screen a few times also guys smoke usually closer to the ground it can be big like fog can be really big uh, but usually to add a little atmosphere to the picture, we can have it closer to the ground, closer uh, to our feet, kind of. So I'm going to decrease the opacity just a little bit to help me give it a little texture. I'm going to do a little, little bit of this. Just like so, as you can see, it comes along beautifully. There you go. Let's see before and after. Yes, that looks really good. Yes, now let's fix the leaves. Uh, as you can see, because I had to make a selection with the lasso tool, it made everything a little bit too sharp. So for that, we can use either a smudge tool or a blur or a blur tool. I'm gonna use both, uh, and I'm gonna see. Yeah, blur blur tool works very nicely with leaves and stuff just to move it a little bit from the leaves as well because we don't need the smoke on on the leaves now let me blur it a little bit right here on the ground now i'm gonna use smudge tool to fix those little lines and now with the eraser smooth so this is the smoke for the background also um, quick little fix that I want to do it's not very important for this video but I'm gonna change the color of this building and I'm gonna show you how to do it so if you want to change the color of something in your photo you can do it you can do it like this okay so I'm gonna use hue and saturation adjustment layer for example I want the house to be let's say white why not I turned the saturation all the way down and uh, I'm gonna select the mask, click Control i to invert it. Now I can paint with the hue and saturation, just like so. So if I want the house to be white, I just paint it like this. Like so. I don't want this house to pull attention from the main subject, so that's why I did that. Uh, now, as you can see, the smoke is very on the background. So. I'm gonna create another layer and do the same thing but now 
I will try to like pull the smoke towards me. So I basically said a whole lot of nothing here while trying to explain what the fog is. What we need to do and what we need to think about we need to think about fog as a 3D object. That's why I'm trying to make fog look like a carpet because uh, in the real life, fog spreads out evenly over the ground and uh, it's covering everything in a very thin layer. That's why it looks like a carpet, kinda. That's what we need to think about. Thin, calm layer on the ground kind of like a carpet. I really hope that makes sense because I'm really bad at explaining stuff and I'm trying to do tutorial, I know, right? Just try to imitate what I'm doing because we all learn by imitating what other people do. Very close to the wall, it looks a little too flat. So I'm gonna fix that by decreasing opacity and uh, trying to balance it out with some other lines. This is what mainly smoke is for in composition and Photoshop manipulation is to drag attention to the main object of the picture. So this is what smoke is for, and, the, and you can make it however you want. As long as it helps, go with it. As you can see, it's a little too much here on the, on the sidewalk, so I'm gonna take my eraser and I'm gonna, well, erase it. Now I'm gonna add smoke to the foreground. I'm gonna create another layer on top of, uh, of selection of myself, just like that. So when I'm gonna draw smoke, I'm gonna draw on top of myself. I'm gonna paint, paint over myself, just like this. So over my feet, over my arm a little bit. As you can see, this made everything 10 times better. You can see the smoke wrapping around and it looks very, very good. I want to add a little more smoke, but on top of the leaves because I feel like it's too dark right here. Looks very good. Now, what I want to do is we can add some light on myself. I'm going to create an exposure adjustment layer and I'm going to clip it to the layer. Of myself now I'm gonna invert the mask and I'm gonna draw a little light there are tons of tutorials how to draw light I'm not gonna dive too deep about it in this video it's more of an artistic choice if you want uh, to draw some room lighting or just lighting. Now what you can do to finish it off is to add some overlays. Now this is a very important part. It can either ruin or improve the picture. So just just try it out. If it doesn't work, then, then don't do it. Now we can add our final camera raw filter to see how it's gonna look finished. And this is the result after our camera raw filter. Now I'm very happy with the result. Let's see the before and after. I think this is a very, very unique way to improve your picture. If you don't want this much smoke, I mean, you're welcome to do it a little less. If you're gonna do a picture like this, make sure to tag me at Art of Ilya on Instagram, and I'll make sure to like every single post and comment it as well. Also, guys, I wanted to thank you for the feedback on my last video. That made my day. Actually, that made my week. But I'm still, I'm still receiving like positive comments and stuff, and it warms my heart also thank you for 100 followers i really didn't think that we're gonna reach that milestone so quickly but here we are so that's it for this video i hope you liked it and if you did consider subscribing also leave a like and i hope to see you in my next video also follow me on instagram